Our first recording comes from a truck driver who was driving the night shift on Route 34 near Santa Fe, Argentina. At some point during the drive, the man noticed something very disturbing and started recording. Detrás de ese rodado, de ese camión. Una mujer, un fantasma. While driving at night, truck driver approaches an ambulance, where we see a mysterious woman on the back door. Only the man recording the video sees the entire incident. The woman puts herself in serious danger, but is it really a person? Or maybe the soul of someone who just died in an ambulance? Nevertheless, the whole incident is interesting. What do you think about it? Was it a random stowaway or something paranormal? Jeff, Phil, and Mark from Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations went to Halstead this time, where they were asked to conduct an investigation in one of the houses there. The previous and current owners complain about the sinister activity of a man's ghost that scares people living in the building. The current owners, Jackie and Clive, complain of various paranormal phenomena. A team of ghost hunters decided to investigate this matter very thoroughly. Upon arrival setting up the equipment, the team began documenting the phenomena, from inexplicable bangs to captured EVPs. However, one incident will remain in Jeff's memory for a long time. We decide to take a break, which we have done on several occasions throughout the night. The light switch to turn on the kitchen light is behind an unused door in the hallway. The door opens only about six inches, so the switch can be reached. On the other side of the door is a cupboard, which stops the door from opening fully. As I open the door to reach the switch, I see and touch a hand which is covering the switch. It is solid and pale grey in colour. As I touch it and see it at the same time, I jerk backwards pulling my arm and shoulder. What? What was it? What happened? You okay? Go on. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. What happened? F***ing hand on the door. You saw a hand on the door? No. Or the other side? I f***ing hurt my arm as well. I yanked my arm. I pulled my arm back right back. It scared me for a second. I reached for the light switch. Yeah. And there was already a hand there. At one point during the investigation, Jeff heads to a small room. He tries to reach for the light switch, but to his surprise, instead of the switch, he touches a mysterious, creepy hand. He immediately looks inside and sees a grayish hand. Without a second thought, he pulls the hand away and he is terrified by the whole incident so much that they end their investigation and take a break. The next night, they try to establish contact with the entity and record something equally mysterious. Kevin? He's walking, he's in, it's in front of me. Foot. 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 It's in front of me. Foot. Yeah, that's where we caught you last time. That static's going right up through me, that is so heavy. Whoa! I just had a, f a huge breath beside me then. I oh, know it. Oh, oh no. no, it's that door there that you felt the hand. Feeling. Shit. Yeah. I feeling. Know. I touched your hand, feeling, on the yeah, light switch. I was switch. Just talking about that as well. Uh, you stood in front of me because there is a cold pocket of air right on this step in front of me. You're standing on the step in front of me, it's, yeah. it's here. 
It's right here in front of me on the stairs. Yeah. That breath was fucking loud in my ear then. Whoa. That was right next to me. When Jeff and Mark are at the stairs, there is a very loud and clear breathing sound between them. They are both disturbed by the whole incident, but a few seconds later, they manage to capture this. There's a... There's a... Cold uh, breeze. It uh, looked like a shadow went past you then. Behind, be, on, behind your left hand side towards the wall and right behind you. Literally a few seconds after hearing the ominous breathing, Mark catches a mysterious shadow appearing next to Jeff. The apparition shows out of nowhere and literally walks through Jeff and disappears. You probably think it's Mark's shadow, but neither he nor Jeff are moving at that moment. We can see it better on the second camera, which recorded the entire incident. But this is not the only interesting recording from a static camera directed towards the stairs. On the first day of the investigation, they managed to record something even more terrifying. Tell, tell me what you did, where you were based, were you in this country or did you, were you, did you manage to go overseas, maybe to Africa or somewhere like that? Where did you meet your wife? Do you, do you want to talk about her or would you rather not? And it, 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 you're going to need to try and communicate with us somehow, Kevin, because otherwise I'm just going to ask questions and I won't know whether I'm, you know, com communicating with you and you're, you're happy or whether I'm, you know, annoying you, which I, I don't want to do. Movement on the stairs. Okay. While Jeff and Phil are downstairs, a static camera records a shadow on the stairs. The apparition literally materializes out of nowhere and remains motionless for a minute to disappear just as Jeff and Phil are heading towards the stairs. What was that, folks? Did a team of ghost hunters catch a real ghost on camera not once, but twice? What did Jeff really see? Was it a ghost? Who knows? One thing is certain, this place is haunted and you probably won't go near it. But as usual, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch a three-part investigation into this case, visit their YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Our well-known YouTuber Frank is in Peru, in a cemetery well known to my viewers. He visited this place several times in the past. After his last tour of South America, he returned to the States. But after a few days, he went on a journey to Peru again. Of course, during the first night, he couldn't go anywhere else but to the well-known creepy cemetery. What the hell is that? What? Hold on, I already see something weird. What the hell is that? In front of the camera there's nothing. Is that like an exhaust? Or something? That's over the mausoleums here. Look at that. 
That looks like it's over the mausoleums. Wait a minute. Hello? Senor? Senor? There's somebody just sitting there. I literally just walked back here. And there's legitimately someone just sitting back there. Holy shit, I did not even see this person. I'm looking back there at the, at the, at that. Tu puedes hablar? Perdóname. There's legit somebody right over there. Todo está bien? All right. They could be praying or something. Yeah, that is fucking terrifying. Okay, I'm out of here. And you got that smoke coming out from there. I'm out of this area. I'm gonna go to another area. I don't know what that was about. Frank searches the cemetery with a thermal imaging camera, hoping for an interesting find. Suddenly, he notices black smoke, which, strangely enough, is only visible on the camera. Frank comes closer to the anomaly, where he notices a mysterious hooded figure. The YouTuber tries to communicate with the man, but to no avail. So, Frank goes to another location, but apparently, a hooded figure follows him. I got something on thermal. Right there. It's moving. But I don't see anything. And I keep hearing like a shuffling sound coming from over here. Let me see if I can record with the thermal. Yeah, see, I'm already picking something up on the thermal. What the hell is that? Okay, that is definitely a signature right there. I don't see anything on the night vision, but the thermal's definitely picking up something. I'm trying to see. Okay, I'm 
to stay out of this area just for my safety. I know if it's paranormal, I would go to it, but I don't know if that's paranormal or not. Look at that. What is that? It's just slowly peeking its head out every once in a blue. Okay. I'm gonna get out of this area. The night vision doesn't pick it up too well, but the thermal imaging clearly picks up something slightly peeking out at me. When Frank gets to another area of the cemetery, his thermal camera picks up something disturbing. Every now and then, a figure leans around the corner. It looks like it's checking where Frank is and watching him closely. We then see Frank come closer to get a better look at the figure, and we can say that this is the same hooded person as before. Frank then walks away and no longer sees the suspicious person. So, folks, who was it? What was he doing completely alone in the cemetery at night? Why did he follow Frank and not respond to his attempts to contact him? This recording is another good reason not to visit this place. So, what do you think about this recording? Who was this hooded person? Is what we saw suspicious behavior of some person, or was it all set up? Choose wisely, folks. The team from the Fourth Wall Channel found a very interesting case. This time, we will see Maguro's stories, who lives in a stigmatized property, where he got a cat along with the apartment, which was owned by the previous owner. Not wanting to take care of the cat, he tried to communicate with the previous owner, but he had no contact with him, so he gave it to his good friends. But after some time, he got a call from his friends to come and check their house because they felt uncomfortable there. On the day of his arrival and interview, instead of the woman who contacted him, her husband decided to talk to Meguro. From the interview, we learned about a dark past where something had happened 20 years ago. Meguru was a little relieved because he thought that everything that was happening was because of the cat. Suddenly, we see his wife in the doorway, who is apparently not feeling well, and then we find out that she is possessed. After that, Meguru puts cameras on the rooms and waits for the phenomena.
Nothing happens for a few days. But before the move, one disturbing incident happens. In the middle of the night, the man wakes up and goes into the living room, then stands still for a few seconds. Next, he sits by the door and stays there for a few minutes. Afterwards, he gets up and goes back to the bedroom. Most interestingly, the body of the previous owner was found in the place where he was sitting. And what is most terrifying is that probably the husband, not the wife, is possessed. Shortly after the moving, his wife tried to contact Meguro, but her husband took her cell phone and computer and became very aggressive. After a few weeks, the woman contacted Meguru again and stated that her husband's condition had improved and he no longer seemed to be possessed. But it's not over yet. At the same time, in their previous house, cameras were still working and recording everything that was happening. One of the cameras captured this. During the night when no one is at home, one of the cameras records something. The door next to which the man was lying and the body was found opens, and right behind them stands a mysterious white figure. Is this the ghost of the previous owner who died here? Or is the whole story just a well-prepared hoax? You are the judges, you decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode and many more, visit their YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. In the next recording, we will not see ghosts or any paranormal topics. We'll see something creepier that's real. I'm right here. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. Come here. Come this on. is as close as I'm going to get, baby. I think you're going to bite my no. toes. No. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh my gosh, you're so Come sweet. Here. Uh uh, I, I'm oh. a little bit. You're just, you're just so strong. You're so strong. What's the matter? I don't want you to bite me. No. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're so Come sweet. On. No, baby. What's your problem, darling? Nothing. I, I love you. I just said. No. Oh. I, I think we just need some time before we do that, okay? No. See, that's Come why. Here. What's the matter? I still think you're gonna bite me. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, see? Wait! <laughs> That's why. See? You, you scared me. You tried to hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. But you tried to. You tried to just now, Barley. I don't know if it's just me, but this parrot is really creepy. In addition, when it speaks in that strange voice, that I won't hurt you and moments later attack the woman, it's really disturbing. I don't know about you folks, but I wouldn't want a pet like that. Mo from the Mo Sarji channel with his friend Adam went on a four hour journey to the forest where Slenderman had been spotted a few days earlier. Of course, not like this one but the mythical figure that people notice in these areas. And in addition, a ritual was performed in the place where they planned to camp. After reaching the place and covering most of the area where the entity was seen, they decided to sit in one place and wait. We had to switch up our gear, warmer gear. It's gonna be a, a long, cold night. It's evening time right now. We've heard some weird freaking noises. But like I said, we're staying under this canopy. We're pretty shielded from the wind. Um, if you look above, it's pretty cool. We have like a, a shelter. Are we gonna get killed by the Slenderman guy or what? I hope not, man. That ritual over there was freaky. I think what I want to do though, like later on at nighttime, is actually go back to where that ritual was and see if we can find more evidence. Right? Like, why is that just sitting there? You actually you know? want to go back there, man? Yeah, like later at nighttime though, not right now. Yeah. I, I gotta pee though. 
Here, you can take that. You can just chill here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, don't be too long. As you guys can see, it's almost evening. Daddy Mo's gotta go and pee. Whoa, 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 bro. Bring the camera, bring the camera. Bring the camera. Uh, He's gone. I just fucking saw somebody. Where, Dude, where, 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 where? Oh my god, I just saw somebody. What the hell are you talking about? Like, just uh, like somebody running or something? I just saw somebody over there. Where? where? There was someone standing right there. I got, I'm pretty sure I found it on my phone. You got it. You got a shot of it? I'm pretty sure I did. It was like standing right there. There was something there. Bro, I'm not yeah. staying here tonight. Can you me? No, we're staying here tonight. We just seen something. I saw something literally right here in this area. Dude, it was tall. It was big. And it was literally like, it was, it was like Slenderman. You saw like, actually like Slenderman like. When Mo goes to take a pee, the mysterious black figure stands motionless a short distance away. Mo runs to get Adab, but when they look at the same place together, no one is there anymore. After what one of them saw with their own eyes, they both decide to thoroughly search the entire area. Bro, I swear to God, I saw what looked like a fucking Slenderman figure. And that's near the ritual area, 100%. Bro, I gotta pee. I was literally just going to pee. This is this is exactly where kind of like I saw him, but like on the sand part. Like, <gasps> oh, oh, Yo! what the? F is that him? There's so there's something black there. Yo, I can't zoom in. Hold on, I gotta get my camera. So my 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 camera. Bro, he's right there. What the? F I saw a black figure around there. Bro, I'm pretty sure I got it on my fucking camera. That's where we were sleeping. Or trying to sleep. That's our campsite. Right Yo, there. Nah, I'm not sleeping here tonight, man. Are you kidding me? My bag is over there. You left the, the, the knife in there? Take that. That's a weapon? I heard something. I heard something. As they search the place where Mo noticed a figure, literally in the place where they were sitting a few minutes later, the same terrifying black figure appears. And just as it appears out of nowhere, it disappears without a trace. The men clearly don't intend to sleep in this area anymore. They decide to take their things and go to the car. There's definitely somebody walking here. Yo, I just saw something go across into the pond. No. Into the water. There's something walking. Where? Here in the water? Bro, I heard something in there. Yo, what the fuck was that? Yo, come, come here, come here, come here, come here. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going, bro? I'm, I'm looking around. I heard something. So we've been actually, like, trying to find... We're almost actually out of the forest. We're trying to find whatever the hell it is that we saw earlier. I'm knee deep in like swamp water. I swear to God, bro, I thought I saw him going into here. I can hear something. Huh? Bro, what if it's in here? Bro, I swear I just pulled the shit out of myself. Yo, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if I take like night photos? I'm gonna take a couple night photos here. Hold the camera, keep it recording no matter what. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna take some night photos on my iPhone. Maybe we can spot him like hiding in the bushes. Dude, I heard I heard something over there. Turn your turn your flashlight off. Okay. Bro, if I capture this dude, there's somebody on camera right now. You, you're still recording, right? Yeah. 
<coughs> okay, I took a bunch of them. Okay. Well, that's so creepy. <gasps> oh, what the f is that? What bro? the f is that? It just popped up right now. Oh my god. What the f is that? Bro, that's exactly the same scene. The, exactly yeah. the same. Where's my flashlight? Where's the flashlight? Turn it on. Show, show that area. Bro, that's exactly between those two trees. We just took this photo. Yo, man, please. Let's get the let's get the out of here, man. First, when they are going along the path, they hear someone walking right next to them. Mo then tries to locate the source of the noises. Unfortunately, the night and darkness make it difficult for him. So, he decides to take a few photos with his phone in night mode. In one of them, they manage to record something literally terrifying. A few feet away from them, they spotted a mysterious black silhouette, which they had already caught twice that day. This time, the apparition appeared right before their eyes. After what they managed to catch, they immediately go to the car and drive away from this creepy place. What did they actually capture during their stay in the forest? Is the mysterious black figure the real mythical Slender Man? Or maybe good editing and CGI skills? As usual, you decide. Eric Gunner and Nova went to a place they knew well. They had visited this area several times, and each time something unexplained had happened to them. Once again, they go to this spooky place to explore the area even more thoroughly. Ni un alma. Ni un alma. Anda. Estoy volteando todo ese lado. When Eric and Nova are walking down the path, we can see that there is no one behind them or in front of them. But alert viewers noticed something else. We see their shadows on the wall next to them, but apart from them, we see a third one following just behind them. Unaware of this, he continues his exploration. Pero de que las entierran o algo así, no, no tenemos idea. Eso ya tiene, no, no sé si te acuerdas tú también, pero ya, sí, ya tiene rato. Bueno, eso estaba bien quedándote, ¿no? Como con molidez y así. Ajá, sí, sí, sí. Tú no venías la vez, ¿verdad? Que la esta chava nos detuvo el carro, ¿o sí? No. ¿No? No, yo no venía. Según yo sí, ¿no? No. Uy, me espanté este carro. Te lo juro, te lo juro que me espantó ese carro. Miren, motonito. Tener cuidado. Hay que, de cualquier manera hay que bajar la luz ahorita, ¿eh? Para. Si se detienen, corremos. Algo, ¿no? Por ahí. Sí. Pero si sí se escucha aquí la vida, ¿no? Sí, de ese lado yo creo, se escucha. De cualquier manera, ¿no estaría chido que nos brincáramos? Si sí, no te daría un poco de cosa, estar ahí como pasarse, ¿no? Pues quién sabe qué habrá ahí. Vente. Pues se ve así que asomarnos, ¿no? A ver si se alcanza a ver algo. Es que el problema es de que ahorita eh, siento que como si sí hay movimiento, otras veces no, bueno, las veces que venimos no suena tanto. Ah, creo que era por aquí, güey, porque por aquí estaba el árbol y ya no era tan avanzado. En los próximos dos clips, 
we see the men continuing their exploration. But have you seen anything disturbing? In both cases, we see a mysterious figure of a man behind Nova, which is standing right next to him. Interestingly, the YouTubers are not aware of this person's presence. Who was he and why was he following them? Why didn't any of them realize what was happening? Is what we saw in the recording something paranormal or are we the victims of a joke and a hoax? Decide, folks. TikTok user N Ants in the Pants is another person whose recordings about ghosts or paranormal phenomena are hard to find. Even though Nancy is a part-time paranormal investigator, she does not publish content related to the investigation on TikTok. This all changed one day when one of her cameras caught something strange. In early January, I woke up from a nap. I could hear my son and my husband Mike playing downstairs. For some reason, something told me to look at the baby monitor on an app I have on my phone. This is what I saw and I immediately started screen recording. I walk into the room and could not see anything with the naked eye floating around bug, dust, etc. I even turned on the light to see if I could see anything with the naked eye. Nothing. Whatever this was seemed to hover around my son's play doh stuff and the chair. Right now I am just watching it through the Ring app and screen recording it through my phone. I started to communicate with it. I asked whatever it was to touch my hand. I try again, but in a different spot, and something interesting happened. It seems to freak out a little when I held my hand out again, like it's thinking about touching it but then freaks out and tries to find a way around my hand. So I decided to get up and leave the room. I told whatever it was that I was going to let them play with my son's toys as long as they respect our space, respect my son, and refrain from scaring him. It kept hovering around the play doh and chair even when I was gone. At this point, Mike gets a notification that there is movement in my son's room. It was me leaving the room. He sees the ball of light through the ring app on his phone so he comes upstairs and we check it out together. We continue to see the ball of light in the dark, but not with the naked eye. We can only see it through the ring app on my Mike phone. And I left the room. And now it's not there anymore. What in the actual F? Oh my god. Where is that? So I'm a part-time paranormal investigator as well. But the equipment kind of confuses me still. So I'm trying to figure out if this is something with like infrared light or something like that. I'm not really quite sure I understand. <laughs> But if anybody can help me, it just, it seemed intelligent and it was responding to what I was doing. Baby's monitor in her son's room captures a strange light anomaly. Most of you probably thought it was just some insect, but here's where it gets interesting. The anomaly only flies over her son's toys. And when Nancy enters the room and stands next to the anomaly, it flies in the same place without any changes. Interestingly, this thing is only visible on the baby monitor. What do you think about it, folks? Ghost, insect, or maybe you have some ideas? The next recording can't be from anyone other than Louise, who with his son Leonardo went to another creepy place. <laughs>
While trying to summon the spirit, they actually managed to release something. In front of Leonardo's camera, we very much see a childlike figure moving very quickly across the room. Was it a ghost they managed to summon, or can it be explained rationally? The last short video comes from Instagram, which became viral in a very short time. A woman who puts her face to the mirror notices that her reflection literally has a life of its own. It blinks, smiles, and looks back at the woman who is doing absolutely nothing at that moment. What do you folks think about this? Write your opinions in the comments below.